Rapid climate change isn't just something that will happen in the future. It's a problem that started when your grandparents were young. That means that today, some of the early effects are already happening all around us. In the mountains of the American West, warming temperatures are already having a big effect on the delicate balance of life. Take the case of the pika. These little guys are a relative of the rabbit, and they live on high alpine slopes in Utah and other western states. Pikas live there because they're sensitive to heat. If the thermometer tops 25 degrees Celsius, that's about 78 degrees Fahrenheit, they can quickly overheat and die. Scientists who study the pika have noticed that over the past hundred years or so, pikas have been disappearing from lower elevations. As their habitats have warmed, they've been forced to move higher up. The question is, if average temperatures continue to rise, how long before pikas can't move any higher and all of them are gone for good? The story of the pika is an early warning, showing us how rapid climate change puts living things under stress, and more stress for one species means more stress for another. For example, fewer pikas means their predators, eagles, hawks, bobcats, and foxes, will have less to eat. Like the pika, many people, farms, and livestock in the West depend on consistently cool temperatures in the mountains for one very important thing, water. If you live in, say, Salt Lake City, chances are your glass of water is filled with melted snowflakes. Every winter, thick snowpack forms in the mountains and then gradually melts over spring and summer, supplying water to rivers, lakes, and reservoirs. But rapid climate change is making the West a drier, hotter place, and it's changing the normal water cycle that people in the region have known for thousands of years. As temperatures rise, there's less snow, and the snow that does fall melts faster and earlier in the spring. The result? Scientists have measured steadily shrinking snowpack across the mountain west. This leaves less water for the hottest, driest months of the year, July and August, when cities, cattle, and farmers' fields are the thirstiest. These are just some of the issues the west faces as the planet warms up. Next, we'll look at effects in other parts of the country and around the world.